All right, it's a beautiful 55 degree day here in southwest Oklahoma. I am in the Wichita Mountains on the west side in the Charon's Garden area. I am starting off at the sunset area. I'm going to hike towards Echo Dome. I've never been on top of that mountain before. Uh, it's not a 2,000 footer, it is a little bit shorter, uh, but it gives you a great vantage point of Charon's Garden. So uh, it's also a, a really big uh, rappelling and uh, sport climbing mountain, but I'm going to be taking the northern slope, which you don't need a rope for. You can just go right up. So uh, a couple miles away, shouldn't be too hard of a hike, at least getting there. Uh, I've never been on top of it, so we'll see what it's like when we get there. Beautiful day. Been so busy with the holidays and with the boys and work and everything, just have not been able to get any hiking done. So glad I can take advantage of this today. Now well, coming up to the main trailhead, just less than a quarter mile into the hike. You know, heat advisor today. All right, so start off here, come over to here. So I'm gonna go a little bit this way, and then uh, gonna keep heading out here on the Crab Eyes Trail, then peel off towards Echo Dome. Okay, so just under a half mile into the hike, I'll come to this Y. Uh, if you want to go towards the rock rooms, boy, that's a big elk. Didn't even see him. <laughs> if you want to go towards the rock rooms uh, and stuff like that, waterfalls that way. And uh, if you want to go towards Crab Eyes and Echo Dome, where we're going, I'm going to go this way. Well, that elk was camouflaged. I didn't even see it. Big boy. I just saw that big elk again. The big bull elk went running that way. I'm just following along the creek. I tried to be quiet, but it's just impossible. This is where it gets tricky. So if you want to go to Crab Eyes, you're going to go that direction. Sunset Peak, all that. Uh, for Echo Dome, we're going to go this way. Now, I've never taken this trail before. This is my first time. So, this is actually the Echo Dome Trail. <clears throat> So we'll follow it this direction. And there's Elk Mountain right there to the southeast. It's starting to gain some altitude here. Got a good view of the northern portion of Charon's Garden. You can see Sunset Peak over there. And you got infamous crab eyes over there. Lost Dome is way over there. Mount Mitchell about three miles away and that big complex right there is Twin Rocks Mountain and you can't see the actual summit it's just over there on the other side of this mountain that's right in front of me all part of Twin Rocks Mountain and there's Echo Dome right in front of me Apple in the Pear Elk Mountain so great view already uh, Echo Dome is not that far away almost there beautiful today Okay, coming up to the bottom of Echo Dome. I'm on the northwest side of it right now. I'm trying to look around for the best place up, probably right there. And the whole thing is steep. Someone had told me the north side's probably the best bet. I'll try this part right here. And see if I can get up that first. All right, on my way up Echo Dome. Going up the northwest portion. Beautiful views from up here. <clears throat> yeah, I'd say it's pretty doable. Top is right up there. <laughs> I 
Yeah, so that's the western face of Echo Dome. Pretty steep. I'm going to continue on up here in this little crevasse. And I really wish I had my GoPro with my headset so I could be hands-free. It's not too steep, though. Definitely gone up steeper climbs. Some of Mount Mitchell and uh, most of the western face of Elk Mountain. Still pretty steep, though. Just about there. Still negotiating good old Echo Dome here. <clears throat> Trying to find a way up that doesn't put me in a dead end. Steep now. There's a top right there. Yeah, it's just getting too steep on this west side. So I'm gonna cut back down and try the north. Might be able to get in there, but I don't really know. I think this is where I came earlier. It goes deep. You know, it's a drop off that ain't gonna work. Gonna have to go back down a little ways. Uh, I'd rather do that than break bones. Well, the west side was a no go. I got almost to the top and then I couldn't negotiate the last portion. So, trying it from the north, a lot of bushwhacking, but I think I found a way up. And I'll get up there and evaluate the, the next portion. There's a big crevasse right in the middle, so I wanted to come all the way to this side. We'll see if I made the right choice or not. So second attempt on the way. Yes, yeah, so I can see the top again. I'm able to get closer here. Just have to be really careful. Coordinated footsteps here. <clears throat> I'm getting there. This one looks a lot more favorable than the other side. <clears throat> and I'm just trying to figure out what might be the best path here towards the top. I think it might be that way. It's going to be a tight fit. Looks a little bit better than that. I guess worst case I can swing over to that way. Well, neither of those worked, so I am heading this way. Each one seems to get me a little bit closer. Hey, eventually I'll find the right way. All right. My only option is right there. Can't do that without a rope. Yeah, it's that one or bust. Well, I'm now on the south side. I've been shut out all the way around so far, trying to get it on top of this damn thing. I'm gonna try it again from right over here. If I can't make it, then that's it. So we'll see. I have to come back out here with a rope. All right, so I made some headway here on the south side. Climbed up that crevice, it was pretty tough. But I managed to make it higher than I have yet. So, I'm trying to check out my next path. Probably swing over this way and see if I can cut through the middle or maybe right there, but the top is over there. That's way too steep to try. I'm getting there. All right, so I'm on the southwest side. There's the top right there. I think I might have found a way up all the way to the top. I'm gonna find out here shortly. I'm gonna squeeze in this little crevice right here. 
that's my best bet. I just don't know what the other side of that holds. If it's a drop off, then that's it. I'm not gonna be able to make it all the way to the top. So we'll see. All right, so I made it to the top of Echo Dome. Definitely one of the more difficult climbs I've done out here. So I can see Twin Rocks Mountain over there, Crab Eyes up there on the horizon, Mount Mitchell about three or four miles away over there, and then just below it you can see Lost Dome, Sunset Peak, and of course Elk Mountain. Really nice views from right here. Yeah, you can see over to Sunset where I started. I'll have to make sure when I'm on that bridge I look over this way because I didn't know you can see it from here. Beautiful view. Really nice right here. The Charon's Garden Trail runs right through there. So uh, the rock rooms in Boulder Valley are just right over there in that area. Waterfalls and such are further. You can see the big open area over there, which you always pass when you're going to the waterfalls from Sunset Trail. Beautiful day. A little breezy. Very nice. You can actually see Lake Tom Steed back there too, off on the horizon. There's crab eyes. That's a pretty fun hike. There's the old apple and the pear. <clears throat> so yeah, great view. It's worth it. It's tough. So, just for reference, the south side is the best way. I mean, I literally, that was the only avenue I had to come up. You know, most of these mountains, you have tons of different ways to come up, but not with this one. Definitely tougher. Look at the view, man. It's just amazing. Elk Mountain right there. Twin Rocks Mountain. Beautiful panorama. Well, getting down from this thing is not going to be easy. There's a lot of places I had to use a lot of my strength and pull myself up, so. I can see a lot of the places I got stuck on. <clears throat> Best way still to me is probably just to go back, come back down the way I came up. I'd much rather go that way. I might have actually been able to make it up that way if I'd have been patient. Yeah, it is what it is. It's still fun to go all over this mountain here. I can see people way over there on Elk Mountain. Way at the top. I'm sure people can see me too because I, I stand out and we're in black on top of here. I guess I'll start making my way back down. Taking in the views and I'm ready to roll. <laughs> have to be very careful going down. Coming down the west side of Echo Dome, I stumbled upon this thing. And you're not going to be able to see it very good with this camera, but that is like 100, 150 feet deep right there. It's just a big chasm, and it drops off, man. It's probably the deepest hole I've seen out here. I mean, anywhere in the mountains. So if you're coming off of this guy, be very careful because I was going that way with force. And I about fell right in that thing. I'm almost down. I'm on the northwest side. 
put myself into a couple pretty hairy spots over there but I found my way out so I'll head down there and hit the trail and head on back to the truck all right successfully navigated echo dome now I am back on the trail and then heading back to sunset trailhead should be back in about half an hour or so it's about a mile mile and a quarter away that was fun that, that was a good climb it was challenging all right just under a half mile down from echo dome back to this creek where there's a lot of different trails so and i just came off of the one that way now there's a trail that goes that direction and it links up with the Charon's garden trail so if you parked at the treasure lake job core area uh, or you want to see the waterfalls and rock rooms you go ahead and go that way and then if you go this way that takes you out to crab eyes lost dome mount mitchell all that stuff so we're going to be going this direction back to sunset not coming up to the same creek just snakes around same one across just a little bit ago <clears throat> going straight across here you can see some marker if you go to the right it's going to take you south into Charon's Garden. That's where I mentioned earlier about the rock rooms and eventually the waterfalls and stuff like that. And then the sunset parking area is this way. We are going to continue on. All right, about three fourths of a mile since I left Echo Dome. Coming off the Charon's Garden Trail. Just about finished here. Got about maybe a quarter mile left. Still heading east. All right, coming to the end of this hike. It was a good one. About three miles. Saw some really neat scenery. You can see Echo Dome peeking up over there barely. Such a beautiful day. There's not even a breeze now. It feels so good out here. All right, well, another great day of hiking in the books. Yeah, so I'm just heading on up this crevasse. It's pretty favorable looking so far. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna know until I get to the very top, so a few more paces and we'll find out. <laughs> 